My name is Maria McLennan and I'm a lecturer in jewellery and silversmithing here at Edinburgh College of Arts at the University of Edinburgh. So my role as the world's first forensic jeweller is a little bit of clever branding. Um, I've taken two disciplines that are very much of interest to me, that would be jewellery design and forensic science, and really tried to explore what happens when those two intersect. My role involves taking the principles that underpin jewellery, looking at things like hallmarks, serial numbers, how an item was made, who it was made by, and using that information to inform forensic and criminal investigations. Jewellers have been practising detective work for, for centuries, and simultaneously in, in the world of policing, human beings have been digging up artefacts and using them to read and understand aspects of a human's identity for hundreds of thousands of years. So it's really important that I study the tools, the materials and the practice of different jewellers and silversmiths, but also study material culture from an archaeologic or art history perspective. The nature of the work I do is so inherently collaborative that when I initially started exploring the world of forensics, I started working with anthropologists, forensic archaeologists, embalmers, police officers, um, and really became embroiled in this whole other world that I didn't really know my, my skills and knowledge as a jeweller could be applicable to. So some of my current research involves an international and multidisciplinary collaboration with project partners in Greece, studying the objects carried with migrants and refugees, mostly travelling from Turkey across a particularly treacherous river crossing. We're concerned with the different layers of design present. So that might be the physical object and the materials it's made from, but also the other layers of storytelling, the narrative that surrounds that object, the way that the object acts as a proxy or a tangible representation of the human being, their identity and their life. And through casting this multidisciplinary lens, to hopefully bring new investigative potential, new information to bear as the world progresses and becomes increasingly more globalised. There's more movement of individuals across borders, crimes are increasingly digital in their dimensions, and equally we're seeing more jewellery being used as a vehicle for trafficking money and transporting wealth across borders. So the demand for forensic jewellers working in many areas to trace, identify, value and authenticate items in the global world is only going to increase.